Hey Taurus, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, December 29th. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. We have the Four of Potions. So, Universe is, is offering you something and you're not quite sure you want to take this opportunity. Um, you don't know if it suits you, don't, you don't feel that interested in this new emotional opportunity. Um, it's looking like it's an opportunity for you to align with a new love opportunity. And they may not have entered your life yet. It's like the, the prep stages where the universe is saying, Hey, do you feel like taking a class? Maybe you feel like taking a class. You should take this class. It, not necessarily a class, but it's something where you're going to connect with others. And it keeps popping up in your mind. And you keep pushing it away like, mm, I don't know if I really want to do that. Universe keeps suggesting this thing to you in order to bring you into contact with someone that you might be a fit with, either friendship-wise or romantically. And you don't seem to be taking the bait at this moment. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Needles. So, uh, yeah, you might just be not feeling up to it. Not feeling like you're in a positive state of mind in order to connect with others. Let's see what the challenge is. We have, yeah, the Eight of Needles and the Devil in Reverse. You're still working on um, improving something about your own life or yourself. You're doing some, uh, some self-work, some self-care, some shadow work potentially. Like evaluating things that have been holding you back, bad habits, or um, like you might be gearing up for uh, like a New Year's resolution, some change you want to make in your life. At the same time, you're still, you're still kind of being drawn into these negative thought patterns. It's like we have the devil in reverse, so you're working on countering that tendency. But the Eight of Needles is still right here on, as the main energy. So in the recent past, it's like this kind of uh, inner battle, or there's two simultaneous thoughts in your head of, you know, this, this way that you've been thinking... You know it's been holding you back, but at the same time, it's a very ingrained part of you. And I think, yeah, that that's what's got you um, not too hopeful, not too interested in anything new or anything more at this time. You're a little bit like f still working out some issues from the past. Your focus, we have the world. You're wanting to put an end to that. You're recognizing an opportunity here through this um, self-exploration to put something behind you in a major way and start fresh. I feel a, a big um, desire for hope, hopefulness. In the recent past, we have this six of needles in reverse. So you've, you've already separated yourself from things that had been um, like in, in your environment that had been um, conducive to this negative thinking. Either you were living in a situation where other people were hard on you or didn't believe in you or weren't supportive and you've removed yourself from that situation. But it's still lingering with you. That's still like you're still in contact with these people. So you've left in some regard, but you haven't completely like cut off that negative influence. And I think that's what you're working on now. You're trying to you're trying to bring that to a close. You're looking for ways to to 
to be happy, to be hopeful. The energy of the environment, we have the four of candles. This is an event. Hmm. Yeah, I, I get the sense that it's this. This uh, It's an example of these things that the universe has bring, been bringing to your awareness. Like a class or a... Like maybe uh, there's a group of people with similar interests who are doing like a meetup online. Or it could be like a group dating event. There's something, yeah, there's some sort of, I, I don't get it, it's a singular event. I think it's a series of events. Class keeps popping into my mind, so I think that's the... The main theme here. In the near future, you're going to start a healing from this heartbreak. Whatever the sadness is that you're holding on to from... Uh, and I don't think you're like, like, oh, you're holding on to that. I think it's just, you know, the natural progression of, okay, I've worked on this. I have this forward momentum now. But it's not like you can snap your fingers and just not be sad about the past anymore. These, these things take time. This is a process. You're going through the process. You're doing the right things here. And I think the, the universe is saying, well, here's like a springboard. You could launch yourself forward by starting to get involved with others. And you're, you're considering like dipping your toe in the water of this, this new cycle of events because you are really, really, really wanting to complete the old cycle here. Let's see. Oh, oh, at the end of the reading, we're gonna get you some advice as to how we can do that. So stick with me till the end. Your surprise energy, we have the moon. So this is more of that self-exploration that we've been talking about. This is saying you're going to reach some new depths. You're going to have a deeper understanding of why this has all been affecting you the way it has. Um, and, and what you can do about it. It's saying, um, up until this point, your level of understanding or exploration of, um, you know, the why and what you can do about it has been only so, it's, it's only been so deep. And this is saying there's more depths to explore there. And the surprise is that you're going to explore the deeper meanings, the deeper truths going on here. And I feel like that's really going to, it's, it may not be easy for all of you, but I feel like it's going to go swiftly because we did have the chariot show up at the bottom of the deck a moment ago. I feel like you've got this opportunity to, yeah, they keep telling me springboard. They, they want you to like leapfrog over this somehow and you're going to get an opportunity if you can engage with um, these offers that are coming from the universe. Let's move on to your hopes and fears. What is Taurus hopeful for and what are they concerned about? We have the four of presents in reverse. Yeah, you're ready to let go of the status quo. You're not clinging to the past. In a practical sense, in a real world, like day-to-day -day sense, you've already let go of it. So yeah, the only thing that's still lingering, it's in your head. It's, it's swords, 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 needles in this deck. Um, so it's all a mental game at this point. I don't mean that in the sense of mind games. I mean that it's like... That's the thing to be working on, the mental aspect. Let's see your end result. How is this all going to turn out? With happy, happy, joy, joy. You're going to move into a new stage of your life. You're going to get the completion that you're looking for. And when you break through the other side, it's going to feel like a whole new world out there. You're going to feel expansive, joyful, optimistic, and a lot of opportunities are just going to start pouring in. You'll feel a lot freer. 
your advice. We have the three of potions in reverse. Um, this is saying, if you don't feel happy in the moment, just wait. <laughs> I don't know if that's very helpful, but it's like there's some solitude, there's some perspective that needs to be gained here, and it's not going to feel like celebration and social get-togethers and fun, fun, fun. You know what this is? This is, oh gosh, okay, I know you guys, I, fe I can feel that you guys don't want to hear this. <laughs> But I have to t I have to tell you the way that it's coming. This is saying um, go to the social event even if you're not going to have fun. Even if you think you're not going to have fun, go to the social event. The three of cups is uh, well, three of potions in this deck is about um, getting together with friends, going out for drinks, or if not drinks, just something akin to that, like um, meeting up for good times light-hearted energy and you know this in the four of potions at the heart of your reading inherent in this is the message of the ace of potions combined with the three of potions and this is saying you can't be in the three of potions energy forever you've got to you've got to continue on with the cycle and accept this new opportunity at some point and what this is saying in your case is there's going to be a social event and you should go even if your heart's not fully in it even if uh, well i don't know if attend in person is what this means here but it, it means like engage with this social setting whether it's online or what have you um i definitely advocate for everyone to be safe so um definitely take precaution if you're meeting in person um but yeah, the advice here is engage in the social aspect. The reversal, I feel like, is is saying, is the universe acknowledging that you're not really into it. Like, now use your own discretion here. If you really don't feel like it's the right thing to go to, then don't. You don't need to listen to me. I'm not telling you what to do here. But if this reading is resonating with you, consider that it might be a good opportunity to connect with others and and that springboard energy that I was talking about, that leapfrogging ahead of the whole um, like, like uh, sticky energy that's kind of gotten you bogged down a little bit. It, this can really like pull you out of that and launch you forward into a happier state. Even if the first time you engage in this way is, you know, not your cup of tea. All right, Taurus, I hope that helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.